Alrighty guys, WWE NXT Deadline is tonight. Whether I watch it tonight or not, don't know. Haven't decided yet. I am kind of intrigued to see the new concept match, so I do want to see how the Iron Survivor matches play out. However, I've looked at them and it just doesn't add up to me. Like in both matches, you've got four heels and one face. I, I, I don't understand the, the, the decision behind that. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And especially in the man's Iron Man Survivor Challenge match, it's hard to pick a winner. You know what? I'm looking at it and most of the guys I don't think have a single opportunity of, of winning it. So, yeah, I am confused. I'm, I'm surprised the people that qualified for this match. But who, who knows? Maybe the show itself will be good. We've got a world title match as well. We've got tag team titles and we have a, a women's... Mandy Rose isn't defending the belt for some reason tonight, but we've also got... Uh, like a women's feud or whatever. So we'll we'll start with we'll start with that match. We will start with Alba Fire versus Isla Dawn, a match that nobody gives a shit. But um, Dawn's just debuted it, but I, I think Alba Fire will get the win. I think Alba Fire will um, beat Isla Dawn, and you know it's just let's let's call it what it is, man. It's it's two fucking women that just shouldn't really be in the WWE, two women that aren't attractive or overly attractive or, you know, when I, they're just, when I look at them, I just don't see WWE superstars and I get it, you could say that about most of the women, all you have to do is look at Dewdrop and you'd be like, how the fuck did she get here? But for me, these two, they spell out like indie, local, promoter, I, they shouldn't be in the WWE and I, I, I don't see them having a future in the WWE and I just don't like this Isla Dawn person either, so We'll see. I'm going to go with Alba Fire to win this, but I wouldn't bet my life on it. Then we've got Pretty Deadly defending the NXT Tag Team titles against The New Day. Uh, talk about The New Day being sent down permanently full-time to NXT. I don't know whether that'll happen or not. I don't really see the point. NXT is supposed to produce the superstars of tomorrow, and The New Day, are, they're, they're old, you know. They're, I wouldn't say they're past it, but they're stale. They're they're already you know developed. They're already there. They've been there. They're not an up and coming tag team. I mean, Kofi Kingston's in his forties for fuck's sake. Xavier Woods can't be that far behind him. It's like, what is the point? Why do they need to grow? How do they need to improve? Why do they need to go to development when they've already fully developed? They ain't going to get any better than this. We know what the new day are. So yeah, I mean, I can see moving them to Raw or SmackDown. You pick, but moving them to NXT in my opinion, would be dumb. And I think having them defeat Kit Wilson and Elton Prince would also be dumb. So I'm going to go with Pretty Deadly to retain in this one. So, so far, I'm going Alba Fire, and I'm also going Pretty Deadly. Uh, Braun Breaker versus Apollo Crews for the NXT Championship. I know who I want to win. I mean, I want Apollo Crews to win. I think since he's went to NXT, he's had, like, this character that sees visions and He's always got, like, the eyes bleeding, and we just get cool backstage, not even backstage, like, outdoor vignettes with Apollo Crews. We've had, like, restaurant vignettes. We've had, we've seen him fucking fishing with Braun Breaker. Um, you know, we've seen him attack people in alleys. We've seen him get, like, premonitions. We've seen lots of cool stuff with Apollo Crews, and I think he could be champion. I think he would be a good champion, but I don't think he will beat Braun Breaker, unfortunately. I'm going to go with Braun Breaker, but make no mistake about it, I want Apollo Crews to win. I just don't think he will. Uh, moving on to the Iron Survivor matches. So, I'll quickly run over the rules here. So, this is how these Iron Survivor matches will work. Five superstars will compete in this unique 25-minute match as they battle each other and the clock. Two superstars will start the match, and every five minutes, a new superstar will enter the match until all five are in the ring. The goal... It's to have the most falls when the clock hits 25 minutes. Falls can be won at any time via pinfall, submission, or disqualification. When a superstar scores a fall, they will earn one point. However, when a superstar loses a fall, that superstar must pay the penalty. They are forced out of the ring and into a penalty box for 90 seconds. Once the 90 seconds are up, the superstar can re-enter the match. The superstar who has scored the most falls when the clock hits 25 minutes will be named Iron Survivor and become number one contender to the NXT Championship and NXT Women's Championship respectively. Right, I've got a couple of bones to pick with the match. I mean, not massive, but 
the one thing, I, a couple of things I did notice is you can win a you can win a fall by pinfall, submission, or disqualification. That just seems cheap, in my opinion. That someone can get a disqualification. Like it's a multi-person match. Over the years, multi-person matches have always sort of been no DQ because it's a multi-person match. So it's not like a one-on-one -on -one where you're straight up like getting doing something to get disqualified. I mean, you can do something illegal, but I mean, who decides who gets the fall? This doesn't make any sense to me. If if you bring a steel chair in and you hit two members, you hit two people in the match, and you don't hit the other two, say the referee grabs the belt, the chair off you before you hit the other two, do the two people you hit get a fall and the other two get nothing? Or does the referee award a fall to the person that was hit first with the chair, but the person who got hit second gets nothing? Or does everyone in the match, if you use a weapon, do they get the, pin f the fall? I don't understand. I don't think that really works. I mean, it's not a massive deal, but for me, it doesn't really work. And the second thing I'm not too sure about is that when the superstar loses a fall, they must pay... The penalty, and they were forced out of the ring and into a penalty box for ninety seconds. That just seems that seems that seems cheap to me, man. I, I think this could play out like a not like a sports entertainment, you know, match. This could really be like a, a very very like a cheap indie style thing for me. I mean, just I, the fact that they've got a penalty box and nine. So is it ninety seconds after you're pinned, or is it ninety seconds? you know, once you get into the box. And are we going to see people pretty much no-sell finishers and no-sell pinfalls because they have to go into the penalty box? I mean, are we going to see someone, like, get, let's say, for example, tombstoned and they count one, two, three, they're going to roll straight out the ring and into the penalty box? Does the 90 seconds start when they get pinned or does the 90 seconds start when they are locked inside the penalty box? Just the whole penalty box process seems a little bit cheap to me, you know? It, it doesn't seem like something... Let's be real. This match would never happen at WrestleMania. This this is not a WrestleMania style match, and I'm all I, I don't mind WWE trying different stuff. I really don't. But I mean, this does kind of seem like something a company like TNA would try. Not uh, you know, not the the granddaddy of them all, WWE. But yeah, you know, who knows? NXT could be a good match. The women's one is Roxanne Perez, Cora Jade, Zoe Starks, Kiana James, and Indy Hartwell. Again, like I said earlier at the start of this video. Uh, four heels and one face. Indy Hartwell is currently a heel, unless they magically change her to be a face tonight. Zoe Starks just turned heel. Kiana James is a heel. And uh, Cora Jade's a heel. Now, I do think this match has got... Pos it's a possibility of being good, because you've got Roxanne Perez and Cora Jade in there. You know, they might... They two could start off the match, reunite their rivalry, reunite their feud or whatever, but it does look like it's missing a big name. Um, I don't know if... Nikita Lyons is injured, I'm not too sure. I can't even think who else is in this women's division, but yeah, it just seems like it's missing a couple of names. We still have Stark in there. I, I thought we would have got Nikita Lyons, but I guess maybe Nikita Lyons is injured. Uh, who knows? Tiffany Stratton, is she injured too? It seems like there could have been an extra person in there, but the winner of this will get a future shot. I mean, Mandy Rose is the champ, therefore it would make sense for Roxanne Perez to win. But I'm going to go with Indy Hartwell. I think Indy Hartwell will win this match. There you go. My prediction is Indy Hartwell gets the victory. And moving on to the men's match, we've got Carmelo Hayes, Grayson Waller, Joe Gacy, JD McDonough, and Axiom. Again, Axiom is the only face in this match. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, Joe Gacy, just, I mean, it wasn't that long ago he was uh, facing Braun Breaker, got multiple title shots, didn't win any of them. Uh, J.D. McDonough, even more freak, uh, even like more recently, he got a title shot against uh, Braun Breaker. You've got Grayson Waller, who I like, but I don't really see him winning this match either. I think Carmelo Hayes is the, the standout option, because let's be honest, Axiom has no chance. And Braun Breaker, whoever wins the, the title tonight in the NXT title match, is they're a both of them are faces, so... It would make sense to have a heel challenger going forward, but it won't be Axiom I mean, anyway. Axiom could turn heel and he ain't got a chance at winning this match. I think it's going to be... I think it's going to be Carmelo Hayes, guys. I'm going to go with Carmelo Hayes. So I'm going to quickly run down my predictions here. I'm going with Carmelo Hayes, Indy Hartwell, uh, Braun Breaker, Pretty Deadly, and Alba Fire. That's my five predictions for tonight. Let me know down in the comments who your five predictions are, and we'll see. We'll see... 
we'll see who's right, we'll see who's wrong, and we'll see if this show's any good. Kind of excited to see the match, but yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if I'm left disappointed. But yeah, we'll check it out. NXT deadline tonight. Let us know what you think down below. Till next time. Peace.